Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. We are back for five things we learned from the game last night, Manchester United vs Wolves, which was 3-4 in favor of Manchester United. What a game, what a thriller game. I'm going to tell you my five takeaways. I think you can make 20 takeaways, but let's just go with the five. And guys, please, I would love to hear your takeaways as a Manchester United fan. We are in, in the 21st century, right? Yeah, and... Uh, I mean, we, we have to express ourselves. That's what fans do. So, guys, please, if you love the video, please give it a like. If you have something to add, drop your comments below. Guys, we want to hit 10,000K by the end of this season. We are a very small channel, not exposed like the bigger channel. So, please help us do, do so. Anyway, guys, here you go. Rasmus Holland, one of the great things we saw yesterday was my Rasmus Holland. He was given by the football experts, you know, um, Sky Sports. He was given by all these guys, uh, this big... Um, channel the or big um, organization sporting organization the man of the match which i would have I, i'm not against but i think when you want to give a man of the match it's about not only the goals but instance that really changed the game if you look at it manchester united we started the game i mean very easy two nil in half time uh, they came back in and we scored with a scott mctominay goal again three one and uh, the error from anthony uh put out pressure in the middle of the pitch uh, um, you know, I think Rasmus Holland, he is uh, he is not only a good thing for Manchester United, he's a good thing for uh, for Rashford. Why? Because he reduces the pressure for Marcus Rashford, who most of the mainstream media, media believe he is the star man, still the star man, which I disagree in a way. I think the power of Mar Rashford's influence in Manchester United is getting slowly. But guys, Rasmus Holland, fantastic game from him. He is just 20 years old. His physicality is his force, his speed, his dedication, and his willingness to play with the team and work hard and also improve has been a gift for Manchester United in, in this year. Talking about gift and what I just mentioned, you can just come here and see what I mean. This is Rasmus Holland celebrating Marcus Rashford goal, which, by the way, he played a great and important role in that goal where he gave United. I want to ask you guys an honest question. You've watched Manchester United for many years. I've watched it for three decades. I'm not a kid. But do you think Rashford, if Rashford was in in uh, in Rasmus Holland's position, will he give that pass to Rashford to score the first goal? No, tell me honestly if you think he will be. And guys, just for a reminder, this wasn't the first time Rashford came back and scored. A goal would uh, uh, score the goal. If you do remember, Marcus Rashford uh, last season he had some disciplinary issues, and this you see you can see the picture behind behind here against Wolves where he came late for meeting. He was brought into the the, the 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 field and he scored a goal. So these are different games. This was last season below, and this is the. Uh, uh, this year, Rasmus wasn't here this time around. Let me put it here, and um, you might see Ras Rashford came in. Um, yeah, last year we won uh, three goals. To, uh, I mean, one goal to nil. Sorry, Ra it was Rashford who scored. So many might say Rashford is the anti of Wales. So Marcus Rashford, uh, I, I asked you guys if you think Rashford is the most influential player in Manchester United. He might still be, but I'm trying. What I'm trying to say is that he's fading. So United were good. One of the best playing styles we have seen this season. Good build-up play from the defense. Uh, you can see the presence of a, someone like Martinez made a massive difference. You can see where he he, he did some good uh, drills uh, behind the uh, from from the defense, taking the ball from the goalkeeper, doing good passes, and that really killed the 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 uh, the, the the aggressiveness. I would say, or maybe the the what the French call the rigor, you know, the tenacity of uh, of uh, um of uh, Wolverhampton because you know Wolves are a very good football inside um, dominated by good European uh, nationals who play good football but United break them in the first time not only with the goal but with the way they played tell me what you think I might be wrong but that is my opinion and uh, those goals also made a difference talking about goals you see um, for you to score a goal you need to have for you to score a goal you need to have a team that is well drilled that has a system of play. And I must tell you that yesterday, one of the things I've said, and, and I, I've said this a lot, that, well, not me, you guys have said this a lot, that Manchester United doesn't have a playing style. And I agree with you because uh, United, we've had a lot of games which we're just playing with no, there was no strategy on the pitch. There was no, uh, I would say there was no, uh, you don't see the goal of our, our build-up play. But yesterday, it was quite fantastic. So kudos to these guys who scored. And uh, talking about fantastic, there have been a lot of... Uh, 
uh, people who are mis- mis- mostly the mainstream media talking about Manchester United, talking about uh, Terry Ten Hag's sacking, talking about there is not unity in Manchester United team, which is very unfair. I want to tell you guys something. I'm a Manchester United fan. Hate me. I might be not your color of your skin. That's your problem. I love football. It's the only thing I know in this world. It's what I work for, N- not the channel. I mean, before I came here and um, we created this uh, fan uh, community, football is something I love. So, I want to say this. There is a lot of jealousy in Manchester United. Manchester United is the most supported team with the highest fan base around the world, over a billion. That's why you see that um, every time Manchester United has made many organizations grow and make many organizations become relevant in the world. What do I mean by this? Every time, if I want to get clicks now, I can make a, a crazy video which will be based on lies which be based on clickbait and about Manchester United and that will be shared because this is because when you sell negativity on Manchester United it it pays off big time so i was so happy you can see the bench here um, casemiro that goal which uh, uh, i think this was the goal which McTominay scored as Cameron Casemiro as uh, Casemiro went out you can see the joy from Eric Ten Hag i think Eric Ten Hag I told you guys that my biggest uh, criticism for everything that the guy didn't understand the Premier League. Yes, you can say uh, he's a top European uh, manager, which I, that's the case. But I think he doesn't understand the Premier League. Hence, he makes some mistakes, which are more t- tactical. I think he will grow in. I think if I am in us, I will try to give this guy, if this guy can give us European football and bring a kind of stability, we would like to work with him. It doesn't make any difference, guys. There is no perfect manager out there. Even Pep comes to this Manchester United team who hasn't had a structure, who is about to kick off in that direction. He's going to have difficulties. Talking about difficulties, there's one guy who isn't facing any difficulty, and here he goes, Kobe Menu. I have said this on several occasions that Kobe Menu will be the future captain of Manchester United. He scores the goal, the 18 year old guy scores the goal in that atmosphere, and he tells the public to like calm down. He's confident if this guy continues like this, if this guy, let me get Marcus Rashford out of him, if, if Kobe Menu comes out in this manner, playing this football and continue this for five years, I don't know where this boy will be. I'll tell you guys very, I mean, tell you for free. You you might come back here in some couple of years. Kobe Menu in the next three years, will be talking about the youngest captain in Manchester United. Because in football, things change. Jose Mourinho was here just some couple of years ago, just four years or five years ago. So in football, things change very quick. I am sure that with the quality of Kobe Menu. He is going to be the leader of Manchester United. Tell me what you think below and smash a like on the video. Please click that like button, which I want people to, I really want to hear people's opinion about this player because I've watched him and I haven't said he's going to stay Manchester United. He, the only thing that can destroy Kobe's Moino's career today will be injuries and maybe he gets carried away sometime along, uh, along, 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 along the line because, you know, we are humans. We never know when uh, things are... Will change but let me come back with some negatives end this with some negatives i want to say that i still i'm still worried about the goalkeeper i think onana onana is my countryman uh, cameroon international and i think onana i don't think i think i've said this i think he's heavy upward he he doesn't fall very quick he doesn't have that quick reflex i think he's doing a lot of bodybuilding good in his legs because his history from people i've spoken with cameroon i never knew him personally before he used to play. He used to be a. Uh, I mean, he used to be a, a football player, not a goalkeeper in his career. So obviously, he's good with his legs. So that are my five things I learned. I think that what I can make a summary. I learned that we have a. We can play good football when we want. We have a gold, a golden player in Rasmus. If our attackers can play with them, we are going to go to places. I think uh, also that Ten Hag is slowly building up a team and a style of play not we saw the style of play maybe Ten Hag doesn't have the players but obviously there is a way in which he wants his players to approach games and we have seen that and I can tell you very simple he wants that we should play between the lines quick enough our transition should be quick but we need to have the players to do so and guys how can you tell me the uh but what can you tell me you like most when you saw the lineup for me it was when I saw Casemiro in the midfield and Kobe Menu, I just understood that um, 
uh, we will we are going to be good in the midfield. And I must, as we're talking about negatives, talk about the goalkeeper. The, sorry, the the referee. I think the referee was poor, very poor. You don't give penalties like that. You know that they will be searching for penalties. But anyway, we got we got the three points. That only one matters. If we can go on in two days time on Sunday and play West Ham and also beat West Ham. Uh, and beat West Ham. We'll be talking about United being on the seat of the league. And uh, maybe we might be dreaming for that top four, which I think we would not hate it because I have just think that I think Manchester United, the most we can do this season is the, the fifth because there are games we will lose against City, Liverpool. Well, we'll see how it goes. And against teams that we don't really put an effort into it. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching the video. Smash a like of the video. Thanks for all of you liking and subscribing. We are not, we will, we, we might never be a bigger channel, but we will be very happy to have just some quality subscribers who will be here because we'll be doing live stream if we can hit that just 5,000 subscribers so we can build up a portfolio here with some of you. Without all said, guys, happy new year. We'll be do. I mean, sorry, I said have happy weekend. I am sleeping already. I slept very late yesterday, my side of the woods. And uh, yeah, we will be um, doing my preview for the game against West Ham. So stay by and watch my reaction yesterday and you might learn something from uh, the game yesterday as well. Anyway, talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, ciao, ciao.